Alex here with an event video on Todd Matthew Phillips versus Mark DiCiero, David Schoen, and Jennifer Abrams, a case involving a California attorney's confrontation of Nevada court watchers, a Facebook group, and political action committee that in 2020 was recognized for its aims to curb the influence of controversial veterans group, Veterans in Politics International. Mr. Phillips alleges generally that Nevada Court Watchers is a shill group operated by sock puppet accounts and is used by Jennifer Abrams and other attorneys to further a quote hidden agenda unquote, namely to quote denigrate, degrade, and defame bereaved parents who speak out against the family court system unquote. Mr. Phillips theorizes that the purported motive of legal professionals seeking to conceal their identities is avoidance of the rules of professional conduct and judicial canons. Mr. Phillips, who himself lost custody of a child, describes a greater conflict with Steve Sanson of Veterans and Politics International on one side and attorneys Jennifer Abrams and Marshall Willick on the other. Mr. Phillips believes he and other parents are unfairly targeted by Nevada court watchers due to his siding with Mr. Sanson, who he praises as a quote community leader who gives a voice to bereaved parents, unquote. Mr. Phillips alleges specifically multiple acts of defamation of his character, citing, more specifically, the public posts on Nevada Court Watchers that criticize him for threatening to shoot up his son's school, as well as severely abusing his ex-wife. Jennifer Abrams struck first with a motion to dismiss, arguing that Mr. Phillips's complaint, quote, reads like the diatribe of a serial pro se litigant, unquote, pillorying the litany of allegations as a nameless rambling of conspiracy theories, lambasting his failure to follow the rules of civil procedure, and marginalizing his objective to a mere attempt at embarrassing her. Mark DiCiero and David Schoen followed up with Joinder, bolstering Ms. Abrams' motion with the additional defense that Nevada Court Watchers operates as an organization that seeks to protect good judges and inform the public of outside influences and disgruntled litigants that attempt to corrupt the judicial process underlining the requirement that attacks on the First Amendment of the Constitution require Mr. Phillips' pleading to be subjected to a heightened scrutiny. Publicly, Mr. DiCiero denounced Mr. Phillips' allegiance to Mr. Sanson generally and Mr. Phillips himself individually as an abusive father and husband who lost custody of his child due to the multitude of egregious acts of parental misconduct he was found to have committed by District Court Judge Vincent Ochoa. In response to Mr. Phillips' lawsuit, Mr. DiCiero unashamedly reminded Mr. Phillips in a series of posts to Nevada Court Watchers that it was not he, but District Court Judge Bryce Duckworth and Linda Marquis that refused to dissolve his ex-wife's protective orders, and that it was not he, but District Court Judge Vincent Ochoa, who, following an evidentiary hearing, made findings that Mr. Phillips' threats to shoot up the school were what triggered a campus lockdown, that Mr. Phillips made statements that he fantasized about killing his ex and child both, and that Mr. Phillips was targeting what was most important to his ex, namely the child and her job, in order to coerce her into staying and to remind her that he was in charge and would use humiliation, shame, and surveillance to destroy her life. Mr. DiCiero posted the final written order, including District Court Judge Vincent Ochoa's conclusion that clear and convincing evidence supported Mr. Phillips' committed domestic violence against his ex and that he both denigrated and insulted his own child. District Court Judge Timothy Williams has granted indefinite electronic coverage of this case, the first of which is a hearing on April 13th, 2021. David Schoen and Mark DiCiero are represented by Mark Swick and Adam Pernsteiner. Jennifer Abrams is represented by Joseph Guerin. Todd Matthew Phillips is representing himself. You can keep up to date with our coverage schedule on rnevadajudges.com and as with our previous videos, feel free to post any questions you have down in the comments below or you can send us an email at admin at rnevadajudges.com. Oh, 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 let's just get through this. I want to know what the facts are.
to find out what the facts were. Right, is there something else that's at issue here beyond the... Uh... In a nutshell, defendant's position is that each of the plaintiff's claims The rules do not allow that. Are there going to be other exhibits? I make a finding that paternity has been established.